Major Jeffrey Ahern and Major Almire from the Rhode Island National Guard would like to address the venue. So you have any idea why we're up here? Yeah. No. Come on. We're going to get through this without a roast. We'll make it quick. First off, uh, I want to thank the Patriot Battalion leadership, uh, Lieutenant Colonel Wingate, for giving us the opportunity to present to Sergeant Major Fortunato, uh, token of our appreciation from the entire infantry community. Um, Sergeant Major Fortunato, uh, when I was a cadet here at Providence College, he was one of the first uh, true mentors I had, um, becoming an infantry officer. And I appreciate you squeezing me in here. I know it was a tight schedule. I know earlier, uh, I guess, uh, before me, a former infantry general was going to come and talk about river crossing tactics that he learned from uh, Sergeant Major. Uh, was his name Washington? I'm sorry, I was just informed by uh, Ranger Chris Allmeyer here that General Washington passed away in 1797. <laughs> With that, um, again, I'm just going to make this quick, but. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't go, I had a chance when I found out that he was going to be the guest speaker that there's something I've been wanting to do for a while. And Sergeant Major Fortunato for me, and I guarantee you every cadet and officer in this room, it's the same story. Whether it's pushing you forward to get the good grades, keeping your PT up, or just giving you life advice while you're in college, after you come back from a deployment, he's always there. Um, and also, I want to share with the cadets in the room something that he told me. He might not remember it because... He's uh, shared a lot of advice, but um, he told me the day before I got commissioned, he said, Jeff, how do you feel? I said, well, I'm excited and I'm nervous at the same time. And he said, do you remember what you felt like when you graduated basic training? And I said, yes, sir, Major. 18 years old, right out of infantry school, want to change the world, make everything great. Kind of like a lot of you cadets are going to be soon. He said, as you go up in ranks, and you know, the things change and you start seeing stuff that you might not have thought was there when you were a young lieutenant or a young soldier. Every day you look in the mirror before you go to work, think of what Private Jeff Hearn would think of your leadership. And I ask all the cadets here to do the same as you come up in ranks and remember what you learned from the great Sergeant Major Fortunato here. So, um, many, uh, every year I have the honor of um, spending Veterans Day with Sergeant Major Fortunato at the Armistice Day Ceremony out at the Squantum Club in East Providence. Uh, it's in recognition of the uh, Rhode Island National Guard infantry soldiers when they came back from World War I. They always talked about drinking Narragansett beer and eating hot dogs and clam chowder. So, so every year we all meet, we pay our $35 for the most expensive hot dogs and clam chowder and Narragansett beer in the state and we have a good old time. And every year they present what's called the Order of St. Maurice. Um, for those of you who don't know about it, it's a really prestigious order. And one day, we were talking and I noticed that Sergeant Major hadn't had that award. Well, when I spoke with uh, Lorraine here and Colonel Windy, I asked if it would, be, it would be an honor for myself and the other infantry officers that Sergeant Major Fortunato helped train and commission to serve in places like Iraq and Afghanistan, who did a great job. It all goes back to uh, what we learned from Sergeant Major Fortunato. So, at this time, on behalf of the infantry community, I would like to invite the uh, alumni from the Patriot Battalion that learned from Sergeant Major Fortunato, commissioned into the infantry, to uh, come forward, please. So, Major, if you would stand uh, at the center there, please, and face out. The Order of St. Maurice Award recognizes individuals who have contributed significantly to the infantry in ways that stand out in the eyes of the recipients, seniors, subordinates, and peers. These individuals have also demonstrated the highest standards of integrity and moral character and an outstanding degree of professional competence and have served the United States Army Infantry or the infantry community with distinction. Appearing before a most judicious and discriminating committee of tried and proven Army infantry, infantrymen and infantry patriots, be it known that Sergeant Major Gary Fortunato was tested and found worthy 
of special recognition. Therefore, the Chief of Infantry and the President of the National Infantry Association inducts him into the Honorable Order of St. Maurice for outstanding contributions to the infantry. The National Infantry Association hereby bestows the Order of St. Maurice in the rank of Centurion upon Sergeant Major Gary Fortunato for distinguished contribution to and loyal support of the United States Army, infantry, and demonstrating gallant devotion to the principles of selfless service embodied by the American infantrymen. Your lasting contribution to the infantry community in combat and in training, its future leaders, is second to none and brings great credit upon yourself, the infantry community, and the United States Army. Given upon my hand this 15th day of March, 2017, at Fort Benning, Jordan, Georgia, signed Peter Jones, Chief of Infantry. Thank you for, for supporting our nation. 